and welcome to today's video. I am super excited because we are going to be judging new makeup. We are going to look at all the new makeup that has been released or announced. We're going to talk about it. We're going to judge it. Is it cute? Is it ugly? Do we want to buy it? Do we not want to buy it? I'm excited. I missed last week. I rarely ever miss a Sunday but I was out of town for the weekend, so we did not have an episode last week, meaning we have so much to talk about. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts on all the new makeup. Let's jump into it. All right, y'all, I'm over to the side so I can pop up photos of all the new releases. I really missed doing this video last week. It is like, so fun to me to sit and talk about the new makeup. I'm definitely going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions as we go. So please in the comments, let me know what you're excited about, what you're not excited about. Even if you're not buying any of this stuff, even if you're on a low buy and no buy, you don't want to buy anything. I still want to hear your opinions. So definitely let me know down in the comments. And as always, I will list and link everything I can down in the description box. So definitely check there if you're curious, but we have to start with the Singe release. I am so excited. If you did not know, my friend Angie and Yelika Neekvist here on YouTube has her own independently owned beauty brand, Singe Beauty. She has been working on these brushes for so long. I am actually... <laughs> I have the brushes. She sent me the brushes. So there are new brushes that have launched. If you're new here, hey. The first launch she did were eye brushes and I actually bought three sets. I bought myself a set, my mom, my sister-in-law, and they're so good. I use them all the time. So now we're having face brushes and I'm loving those as well. I've been seeing these for months and now I finally get to have them and use them and they're they're amazing quality like you see this they're amazing quality y'all I'll definitely feature these in a video coming up where I use them and all of that because I want to do a video I want to use the brushes I want to talk about the Vegas trip I want to chit chat you know so we can definitely do that soon I already placed an order for multiple sponges and a powder puff and I am excited. Congratulations to Angie. If you think that Angie just like picked some brushes out of a catalog and slapped her name on them, that is not the case. I've seen the hand sketches of her like doing these shapes, okay? Like I'm so freaking proud of my friend, but just so y'all know, she is my friend. I would literally give her a kidney if she needed one, okay? But the brushes are amazing. I have a lot of brushes, so if I'm reaching for them over and over, you know they're good. They're available now. I will link them in the description box. Let's talk about these new launches from NYX because they put out a good amount of stuff. So let's talk about these fat oil stick clicks or click sticks. Okay. Basically NYX is doing their version of the glossy lipstick that we've seen with Makeup by Mario. We've seen Tarte. We've seen like so many brands are doing this. So while this may not be something like revolutionary, I think it's very smart. I think it's a product that I personally am loving. So to see more brands doing it and to see a brand at a drugstore price point doing it, I am happy about that. So these are the Fat Oil Slick Clicks, a shining balm that's easy to apply in a range of colors. These are available now, so I will list and link them down below. I try to link everything I can down below in the description box, so definitely check there. Now, I'm kind of curious about these because I do have the NYX fat oil, like the lip oil, whatever it is that's like this with the lime green packaging. And I like it, but it's definitely not my favorite. I don't think it's bad, but it's not like, oh my gosh, you need this lip oil. So I'm wondering how these would be. There are some NYX products that are like holy grail status for me, while others that are just like, 
meh. So I could be curious about these. I could be curious about these. Let me know, did you already pick them up? Because like I said, I do love a product like this. I do love a product like this. So I'm kind of curious, but we also have from NYX this Marshmallow Setting Spray. Now I never tried the Marshmallow Primer. Let me know, am I missing out? Like, do I need to buy that one? I see it all the time at the store, but I've never tried it. So I could definitely pick it up if y'all like it. This is the setting spray though. This is a matte setting spray. It says it lasts up to 16 hours to extend your makeup wear. Hmm, it says no fading, smudging, or transfer. Shake before use and spritz over the face. I be about this oh gosh listen to these claims mattify smooth 16 hour wear reduce shine fresh look minimize pores no fading smudge resistant transfer resistant smells amazing that that's a lot like that's a long list of claims i think i need this and i think i need to try the primer let me know do you have the primer and don't just say like, I have the primer and I love it. Say, I have the primer, I love it, I'm oily, I'm dry, I'm this or that. Like, help me out, give me a review so I can know if I need to buy it because, hello, my name's Heather, I'm oily. I live in a humid place. I have skin that will eat makeup. It will just eat it, it will disappear, the oil will snatch it away. So if you have, a product that you are loving that extends the wear of your makeup let me know also from NYX this is different okay this is different I sound I sound like somebody's grandmother like really like when when somebody comes in with rip, ripped to jeans and they're like oh that's different <laughs> These concealers from NYX, different, different. Okay, these are the uh, Pro Fix Sticks. Conceal, correct, brighten. Okay, so we have the color correcting shades, right, green, if you wanna like put it on a red pimple. We, we have the shades, and then we have concealer shades. So I'm just thinking, I, I'm too old for this. I'm too old for this. That is my first thought. You know, I'm like, this is this this is for the teenagers. Because for me, I'm thinking about a stick and I'm thinking of how I would have to like press and pull my skin. And I don't know that that is something I want to do. I don't think I want to do that. It would have to be so creamy and liquidy coming out of there. I don't know if they did that. You know, I just don't want to be tugging on, especially like my under eye where I would be wanting to use maybe a salmon corrector and then a concealer. I don't think that is the path that I am on. But let me know because I just, I don't feel comfortable with it. Okay, I don't feel comfortable with it. 18 shades, crease resistant, medium coverage, natural finish. I love a medium coverage concealer. I love when something says natural finish. Usually it's not too glowy, it's not too flat matte. But I just feel like this product is gonna be dry and waxy. I don't know, I could be wrong though. I'm not jumping to buy it, we'll put it that way. So actually today, the day that I'm filming this, Saturday, you're gonna watch this on Sunday, so back in time, Simply Posh just revealed their new Aurora Lights palette. I think this is pretty. This is pretty. Oh my gosh. And I see the colors of the Aurora lights here. I've never seen them in person. I would love to one day, but I get depressed when it's below 70 degrees outside. So I'm going to need to like pep talk myself before I see these, but I would love to one day. Anyways, 18 pan palette created in the usual format, 12 mattes, six duochromes. So I, 
I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need this for sure. I do have an affiliate code with Simply Flash. It is Heather. As we go about our day, I will pop my codes on the screen if I have any affiliate codes with the brands. They're also always in the description box if you wanna check there. But, I, well, I'm actually wearing a Simply Posh palette today. I'm wearing the Cozy Cabin palette. I do have a video up with this palette and I think Simply Posh, they're doing great things. Their Cozy Cabin palette is the best palette from them I've tried. I think they've really, like, they've really gotten there, you know? And I like this color story. I like the mix of, like, these purpley pinks. They're almost giving me, like, this 90s vibe with those colors. And then I like that we have these kind of, like, gray undertone type of blues, that kind of lime green. I'm here for it. Simply Posh sends me a lot of their things. If they do not send this to me, I do plan to buy it because, oh, I like this. I don't have a release date or anything as of the time that I'm filming this. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description box. If not, I can always update you later on. I just really like this color story. I think it's very pretty and their pans, their palettes, you can definitely pop the shades out, rearrange. I don't do that. That that makes me feel stressed. If I think about like taking apart my palettes and moving them around, I don't think I would want to do that. I don't think I would want to do that. I love like single shadows mixing, but just to like take apart a palette that I love, I can't do that. But I know a lot of y'all love that, so you can do that with these. The way... I'm begging Glow Recipe to take my money for this new Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. I have been wanting to add Cloudberry into my skincare routine. I've had my eye on a few products, but I just haven't bought anything. I'm like, you know, something's going to come along and I'm not going to be able to resist it. And then I'm going to get it. And lo and behold, Glow Recipe started sneak peeking and I was like, that's a Cloudberry? And Glow Recipe is one of my favorite favorite skincare brands. In fact, I recently placed a Sephora order that includes some Glow Recipe. Like, I love Glow Recipe. They need to take my money. This is the Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. This is going to be available on December 12th on their website and Sephora. I will link it down below. This is a powerful essence toner that brightens and evens your complexion, reducing the appearance of hyperpigmentation while hydrating and softening dull, dehydrated skin for radiance. It says that it has a serum booster effect. Use it post cleanse to maximize absorption and visible benefits of the rest of your routine. So it has cloudberry concentrate with vitamin C and E and glycerin and rice water. That was a mouthful. So, the, okay, let, let's kind of talk about this because they do have their Watermelon Glow Pore Tight Toner. I use that usually once a day in my routine, sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night. And Glow Recipe did say that you can use those two toners together. Like you can use them in the same routine. But what I'm going to do, I think, is just use my watermelon glow toner in the evenings and I will do the new cloudberry one in the daytime. That's what I'm thinking. I need this. Like I need this. It's going to be $38. I just, I found glow recipe products to really work for me. Do I obsess over everything? No, but I have not found a product from them that I just don't like. There are definitely some that I like more than others, but I don't think I've tried anything where I'm like, that was trash. So I have high hopes and they're getting my money. So Milani has launched cream bronzers and let's talk about these because if you watched my testing new makeup video last week, I tried a cream bronzer from the drugstore that was horrible. Okay, horrible. So I am kind of sticking with what I love right now, but this is the Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. It says it gives a sun, sun 
Kissed Glow Year Round. There we go. That was a little bit of a tongue twister. It says it's lightweight, blendable, cream bronzer, soft matte finish, never orange. It says uh, it has watermelon seed and pomegranate seed oil. Micro-sized spherical powders help to blur the skin. That's probably where the matte comes in. And it is now available. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on this. I think it looks nice, but I can't buy everything. I can't try everything. Maybe in the future I could be tempted to pick one up but I don't feel like it's a must have for me. I do have cream bronzers that I'm really into that are working well for me. So I think I'm gonna pass on this one, but that's not the only thing Milani has this week. Usually towards the end of the year and the beginning of the year, like the last few weeks in December, the first couple of months of the new year, we have a lot of drugstore. So I've been expecting all these drugstore releases and Milani just, launched their color fetish hydrating lip stains i like a lip stain i really like the one from clarins i think those are beautiful i think they're so pretty to wear like underneath a lip oil or like some type of hydrating balm so i could be about these these are buildable glossy they transform into a semi matte stain lightweight and there are six different shades I don't know that I'm interested in these lip stains. If you bought them and tried them, please let me know what you think of them. Because on the swatches and even on the model's lips, once that gloss goes away, they don't they don't look super great to me. They look not my favorite. Like I don't dislike them but I wouldn't be like oh my gosh I can't wait to get this based on the photos that they did but maybe you've tried them and you really like them and you can let me know what you think of them but for now these Milani releases are not it but wow there is a lot to talk about right there's a lot to talk about Game Beauty just released a bunch of lashes. Let's talk about these. This is their new Falsy collection. So this is a lot of lashes and they look to be mostly not overly dramatic lashes. I don't want to say natural because I don't like that. You know what I mean? Like I always say, if you want to look natural, go wash your face. That is how you look naturally. But they look to be like not super dramatic and I could be about that. I am not letting myself buy any more lashes right now though because, listen, I got to meet Annette in Vegas. I love Annette, Annette's makeup corner. And we were talking and she was telling me about her lashes that she was loving right now. And I ordered a ton of lashes. I was like, tell me more. And then as soon as the night was over, I was like dee, 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 adding lashes to my cart. So I have a lot of lashes coming. I love a half lash. And I think these from Game Beauty though will be my next lash purchase because these styles look really beautiful. The bands on them look very thin. I can be about that. It looks like there's some really beautiful wispy ones. I can't tell, but maybe some half lashes. I'm definitely gonna go on the site and look. I really like Game Beauty. Uh, so I said I wasn't gonna buy any more, but time will tell. Time will tell. There's also a latex free lash glue that's launching. We love to see it. Glam Light Garfield. We didn't get to talk about this. I shared it on my community tab, but we didn't get to talk about it because I was gone. And then when I came back, I asked my husband, I was like, did any packages come for me? And he was like, no. I was like, okay. I was like, no glam light. He was like, no. I was like, that's okay. Like, I'm going to put it on my list and I'll buy it when I'm like making my judging new makeup. So I'm un I'm like unpacking and stuff. And I'm like, well, what, what is this box? And he was like, oh, I think that's something you ordered for my niece for Christmas. And I was like, 
no, like I already have her gift. This man thought that this Garfield collection was some type of gift I bought for my niece. And I'm like, it says glam light. So it was a good surprise for me. Long story long, I guess. And I already have a video on the Garfield collection. Hear me when I say this palette is beautiful, okay? It is beautiful. The look I did in my video, I loved so much. It is such a beautiful color story. I really, really like the collection. I really like the collection. The quality of the palette is that great glam light quality. And I love that they did a smaller palette. Again, I have a video if you would like to watch it. Definitely, definitely do. And then Glam Light has also kind of sneak peeked that next year. So I know a lot of people were upset. And I first was like, oh my gosh, they're already having another collection. Like they, it, it, it's too fast. But then I saw this is just a sneak peek of what's coming next year. So it's not launching yet. So we can call, we can be calm. They're teasing that they're going to have a kiss collaboration in 2024. So time will tell. It says the hottest makeup collection. So I'm curious. I am definitely curious. I'll be watching socials and we will talk about it as soon as we know more. So I did buy some new fragrances. I bought the new Kaoli. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago. I bought the new Replica, the one that's tomato leaves. I bought that, at, like we talked about that a couple of weeks ago. And I also, in that same order, ordered the Fleur Mood Ring. I ordered the travel size because I want to smell it. I really like Fleur. I don't obsess over all of their scents. Like I don't buy them all. I'm not like that. But I do have several of their scents that I really like, like really love. So I thought, let me just try this. Let me just buy the travel size and see if I love it. This says it is a fruity floral fragrance that's a sweet escape. I don't tend to go for florals that are very sweet. I like florals that smell like I'm outside and I can feel the breeze go by and I can smell the flowers on the breeze. That is the type of floral that I like. So sometimes they don't work out for me. I don't want it to smell like my face is like in it or I'm inside with flowers or something like that. I don't like that. So that's why I'm like, let me just order the travel size and see. But it says fruit gummies, orange zest, dragon fruit pulp. And that says marigold and orange flower. So we'll see. If you watched my worst makeup of the year, worst beauty products of the year, I posted that on Saturday. There was a fragrance in there. And I'm hoping I love the Fleur and I don't hate it because I cannot handle hating another scent. If you didn't watch that one and you're curious, you gotta watch it because like, I can't even talk about it anymore. Tarte, their Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. They released shimmer shades and I bought three and I love them. Okay, I love them. They have a beautiful shimmer to them that kind of like, it's not like glitter. Like I don't want most of the time straight glitter on my lips. I do sometimes, but I prefer like a sparkle, especially when it like catches the light and you're like, oh, what is that? Is she a mythical fairy? Yes. So I ordered three. I wanted to order more, but I was like, control yourself, woman. Three is your limit. They're already sold out at Sephora, okay? I did see, I found them in stock though. I will link them down below, but Sephora sold out with a quickness. Today, I'm actually wearing 
I put down an ABH lip liner kind of all over and then I'm wearing the shade Pearl Shimmer Glass. So it is that like kind of sparkly, sparkly shine, pearl, yes, pearl. And I'm into it. It's not a gloss. I don't have a gloss on. I have on this. And I don't like plumping products that hurt. Okay. I think Too Faced Lip Injection. Absolutely not. These don't plump my lips. But they do give them this glossy shine. It doesn't settle into any lines. So I feel like for that reason, the lips look healthy and juicy and full. And they don't tingle and burn. It just has like this minty, almost a little bit of a cooling sensation, but not in a painful way. So I bought Soft Pink, Pearl, and Rosy Copper. And I went Indigo. I will be buying more. Mark my words, I will be buying more. CoverGirl, I ordered two of these. It's been a long time since I've been tempted by old CoverGirl. I bought these though, because I said I like a lip stain. I passed on the Milani. I bought two of these. These are the Outlast lip stains. They've reformulated them. They are vegan. It says they are smooth, precise, pin-like tip, transfer-proof, satin stained finish and I decided I need this. I like that it has this applicator because I feel like I can line my lips, fill them in with a stain. I can let the stain do what it does stain and then I can put my lip oil on top and I've eliminated the need for like a lip liner too. So I ordered two of these. We'll definitely test them when they come in and if I love them, I will order some more. Um, let me know, are you into these? I think they look really good on the models too because some brands, I'm like, if you cannot make your product look good on a model who is paid to be beautiful, I have no business trying you so I don't know but these look really good on all the models I was looking at all the shades and I'm like okay 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 I can get down so I bought two I think not I think not on this L'Oreal concealer I think not but also don't judge me if I end up buying it for testing purposes <laughs> this is the true match radiant serum concealer brightening under eye concealer with hyaluronic acid and caffeine corrects like a concealer, hydrates like a serum. It says it's lightweight, crease resistant. <sighs> part of me is curious, but part of me is like, the fact that it's like an eye serum, I don't know that that's gonna work for my oily skin. They say it's lightweight, but I can't help but feel like it would be heavy. I don't know, like no, but also maybe I should try it, okay? I don't know, but my first thought is no. Like I'm not rushing to pick this up. This would be more one I would be like, okay, I'm at Walgreens and I see it and I grab it because I have a coupon to test it out. I don't know, let me know. What do you think of this one? Bella Beauté Bar is releasing a Angles of Illumination palette. Now, previously they had three of these. I have volume three and I really like it. It's an all duochrome palette. It's really beautiful and I've been waiting for them to bring it back, but they have launched a new palette. This one, I have it. Okay, they sent it to me. I'm gonna film with it. We're gonna swatch it. We're gonna use it on the eyes. This says it is 15 duo chromes with one multi chrome. It is fully magnetic. I got this. I have not used it yet, but it does look like just in the pants, it looks like it's a different formula from what I'm used to with Bella Vita Bar. So I'm very interested to swatch it 
and to get it on the eyes and see because I love Bella Beauté Bar so much. Like I love their stuff. I actually have a pre-order that I got a notification as I sat down to film. I got a notification that my pre-order has shipped. So I'm so excited. But looking when I opened this palette, I was like, oh, this looks like something different than what I'm used to with the brand. So I'm intrigued to try it. We'll definitely try it together. And let me tell you about this palette because they did give some information that I wanted to pass on to you. And it's on their Instagram. It's not like I have secret information. So this is launching Friday, December 15th at 12 Eastern. And it's going to be an introductory price of $65. And then of course you can use the affiliate code on top to save. But this is fully magnetic. So you can mix it and match it if you want to. And it says it's an ode to the past three versions and will become part of the permanent light up. So it's not limited edition. Then I let it right here. Okay. It says duochrome shades, moonlight and gleam are both, both versions of a blue brown and they came out more like than they originally approved. And it says that um, they're supposed to be a little different, but something in production got messed up. So they're going to sell the palette for $65. And then when they get the like reorder of these, it will be $69. So I appreciate, I appreciate that they're like, we're going to give it at a discount because two of the shades were not exactly what we approved. Uh, so it's, they're essentially like giving you the price of a shade free, I think. Uh, it was how like the math worked out. But yeah, I do want to let you know about that. I am ready to test this and see. I like that pop of like orangey shade. I like, listen, look at me. Do I look like I like blues and greens? Yes, I do. So I'm really looking forward to playing with this one. Glam Smitty on Instagram has collabed with uh, Shine by SD. So <laughs> I hate I'm missing last week because I definitely wanted to talk about this and say congratulations. So this is the Forest Hughes Mystic Dreams palette. I think that's such a cute name. It's a custom palette and it says um, that you can get the singles or the full bundle. I think that is really cool. Glam said Glam Smitty says that they love creating color stories and it's some of the first content that they ever created. So I think that is really cool. It says that these pans are 26 millimeter in size, so you can kind of mix and match if you have other palettes of the same size. But I definitely wanted to say congratulations. I will link this down below. Drunk Elephant has a new body cream. This is, what do you call yourself? The Bora Barrier Repair Cream. No, I'm sorry, this is not a body cream. I hate, I hate when I'm incorrect like that. I read all about this before I sat down. I still said a body cream. What am I thinking? This is a moisturizer for dry skin people. Dry skin, reparative formula with ceramides. I love a ceramide when my skin is not having it. So I'm all about that. But this is not marketed for me. It's deeply moisturizing for the skin, reduce redness, repair the skin barrier. I will link it down below for y'all. Kelly Cosmetics is releasing more lip pencils. I bought a set of three when they were at Ulta in this new format. I really like these. I would definitely pick up more in the future if I'm making an Ulta order or something because I do think the formula is really nice. It reminds me of MAC and ABH. So I like that. I like this type of formula. So FYI, more shades. This is a no. And I'm like, what, Glossier? T say what? This is the best generation G, the generation G lip. I don't, it's a sheer matte lip balm. Just blotted lipstick without the blot. Buildable lip color. I saw these on the models. This is one. This is one right here I was talking about earlier where I'm like, 
even on a gorgeous model, a professional photo shoot, no. I didn't like. I didn't like the way they look. They're a no for me. If you love it, I love it for you. It's it's a absolutely not for me. I did not like the way they look. I would not. No, no, thank you. No. Elf has a couple of new releases. They have a tubing mascara. I could like no. No, I've tried so many tubing mascaras this year. I don't like them. They're not for me. They don't do anything for me. So that's an absolutely no. But FYI, maybe you love it. I love it for you. And then there are new H2O proof inkwell liners. And that's not just me trying to be quirky, saying H2O instead of water. No, that's what the ELF site says. So they're trying to be quirky. And I don't like that. But... <laughs> you know, new waterproof liners. It says that they're like in this uh, type of applicator instead of the pen, they're gonna be more precise, yada, 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 not for me. Now, these these lip balms I could be about, I don't know how to say the brand name. It's okay, I have a photo here if you cannot understand me. I will also type it into the description box. You don't have to type it out phonetically for me. It doesn't matter. It is okay. This is the Rebane Beauty Love Rouge Lip Balms. Hydrating Lip Balms, six shades, glowy finish. Each shade has pomegranate and hyaluronic acid. 24 hours of hydration, $28 each. Do you like these? I've never tried this brand before, but I could be intrigued because these look pretty. Every single swatch on every single skin tone looks pretty. And now I'm intrigued. So maybe I should place an Ulta order so I can grab these. Blinged Brushes launched their Royal Enchantment Collection. Beautiful. I used these in a video here on my channel earlier. No, not earlier this week. It's Sunday. Last week. And there are some beautiful shapes in this collection that I really appreciate. I have a ton of blinged brushes. I really enjoy them. I think they're super beautiful. My friend Allie Dawson collabed with them on a brush set. Like they make great brushes. So I will link those in the description box if you're curious. Too Faced Kissing Jelly Gloss. So I kind of like the name Kissing Jelly. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cute. I am thinking with this description, $22 each, six shades, glossy lip oil, hydrate with natural oil, leave a hint of tint, give you hydration and a shine of a gloss. Each shade is scented. This made me think of the uh, lip oil gloss hybrids that Milk did earlier this year and I really like those from Milk. So I'm not planning to purchase these right now, but these do look really pretty. And I do like some Too Faced lip products, like the Too Faced, the, um, the balms, the liquid balms that are the hangover balms. I really like those. So I'm actually kind of tempted by that blue one. LH Cosmetics has a new quad. This is the Siren Song quad for $46. It is four powder shadows that are shimmery and supposed to be really sparkly. So like a little quad of just sparkly, beautiful shades. Maybe you're into this. I think it looks pretty, but I don't think it's something I need. I will link it down below for you though. I really wanna try LH Cosmetics. I've heard great things, but I haven't yet. So if you have any favorites from the brand or any products I need to stay away from, let me know because I would love to try the brand. Makeup Revolution is probably gonna get my money with these. These are available now. They are the Glass Skin Glow Beam Bright Highlighters. So it says glow like it's golden hour. Silky powder melts into the skin like a liquid, it gives a luminous glow on the skin. It says it's $10 each. So I'm curious about these. They look really pretty. They are available now. So again, I will link them down below. I 
what shade would I want to get? I feel like maybe Diamond Glow or maybe Pink Seduction or maybe Rose Luster. I don't know. These look pretty. And Makeup Revolution can definitely be hit or miss. But, I mean, I have some Makeup Revolution favorites. I'm actually wearing the IRL foundation today and I love their liquid contour so I think I'll pick these up too. Ritual Defeat is launching these body oils. Let's talk about these because these look really pretty. These are Daydreamer body oils. So I will link these down below. It says that they sink into the skin while also giving a glow and they don't feel greasy. It says it's a lightweight blend of oils and they silk in the skin. I want to feel silky. I want to be sparkly. I'm very intrigued. Last but not least, let's talk about the Pantone color of the year. This is Peach Fuzz. Okay, this is the Pantone color of the year for 2024. It says it is a heartfelt peach hue that brings a feeling of tenderness and communicates a message of caring and sharing. I was not excited for this, but I'm not surprised by it. I feel like peach is going to be a good theme in makeup. Peach blush, peach lips. Maybe not this exact shade, this pastel-y shade, but maybe a more saturated, deeper, vibrant type of peach. I could be about that. So we'll see. Do you want me to do like a get ready with me where it's like centered around the color of the year? Maybe shop my stash, pull some things with the shade, like maybe how to incorporate it into your makeup, something like that. Let me know because I do think that that could be fun. I had a lot of fun with y'all. I, I, let, let me scoot back to the middle. Okay, I had a lot of fun talking about the new makeup. I love judging with y'all. Let me know what you think about these new releases. I would love to hear from you. I will put my makeup that I'm wearing on my description box. I already know I told you like eyes, lips. I'm wearing a ColourPop blush, Sigma highlighter. I have so many videos coming. Please do subscribe. And since you made it to the end of the video, I'm going to be having a giveaway. I will put all the rules, everything in the link in the description box. Check it out. If you want to enter the giveaway, it'll all be there. Please don't say anything about the giveaway in the comments just because... I want y'all to be able to enter if you like looked in the description box you made it to the end of the video you know you know you know thank you so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day i'm gonna film the vegas get ready with me soon if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comments so i can know what you want me to talk about subscribe and i will see you very soon in another video like tomorrow all right i'll see you tomorrow bye